Hey, today I want to reply to Nick's tag uh, video on uh, upgrade books or replacements and I picked out five. Uh, they're all in deplorable condition. Um, so I guess without further ado, let's get on with it. First one is a book. It's the first X-Men book I actually bought myself. Uh, the rest were all uh, either gifts or trades or, or, or I got them some other way, but it is Giant Size X-Men number two. And you can see, not in the best of shape. Actually, it looks like one of those uh, wooden posters that they sell like at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond or one of those things that they call them vintage. This was naturally vintaged. Um, but I remember when I got this, it was confusing because it was reprints. So um, when, in 1975, when this came out, I was only six years old. So I guess I didn't understand the concept of reprint right away. But um, definitely one I want to go out and get. Uh, I think the reason I haven't replaced this one is I just I don't want to pay a lot for it. I mean, I have it. Um, I always have this. This is part of what I call my landfill collection. Uh, I'm going to do a video on that someday, the entire landfill collection. So... Um, That'll be a fun one. Uh, but uh, again, I don't, you know, 20 bucks or less, I don't want to spend a lot on that book. So that's probably why it's like that. It may never get replaced, but it's one of, I, if I see a nice one, I'd like to get it. The next one I got in a trade, and I remember it, it was uh, uh, when the first Batman movie came out and everyone went crazy for Joker. Well, there's this guy that I used to, uh, we'd go on Comic Cons together, and uh, uh, he was a huge fan of the Joker. So I traded him. Um, a bunch of uh, Batman comics that had the Joker in them and he traded me a bunch of Marvel uh, books and I got some X-Men some really good stuff I mean looking back at the trade now I did way better obviously now because those Joker books aren't worth very much now but one of them that I did get in there and I needed it for my run was Where If I Night 32 but first off you can see it's missing that piece there and some genius decided that the yellow would look better if they colored it in with the orange marker, and they didn't even do a good job of it. <laughs> Just really awful. But it was enough to fill the hole in my collection, and it still holds that today. Uh, this one is another one. I just, I, I, I don't understand why it's it's gone up as much as it has. Um, kind of stinks, because if you just want to uh, collect it to complete your run like I do, um, uh, it just it's just too much money I'm not gonna spend whatever that thing's going for these days next one same thing uh, I got this in a trade with my cousin um, it's coverless when I got it it was the cover was detached and somewhere along the line I lost the cover uh, I don't know where or how I mean it's in such bad shape it's 129 so if you've never seen the first page that's what it looks like <laughs> that's all I can show you because I don't have the cover uh, and it's in such bad shape that I had to put 129 on it so that I knew which one it was without trying to read the microscopic print on the bottom. But I remember I traded my cousin for this. He he used to get his comics and then he just wanted a new one. So um, I remember I, I think I traded him some DC comics that I would read. So that's just when you were a kid, uh, you got to read more because you could trade, uh, you know, with your friends or your cousins or stuff. Uh, and you could increase what you could read. So... Um, between my cousin, and my brother, and I, that was kind of the three of us. We used to get together and, and just read piles of comics together. Um, and I also got this one from that same cousin in a, in a different trade. Um, it's in a little bit better condition, but uh, it's it's to me is is kind of a a, a bronze key. Um, it's not really like first appearance or anything like that. Well, I guess it kind of is, um, but it's uh, uh, X Men '94. Um, and just at a quick look, you think, oh, that's not that bad. But obviously, when you start looking at it, it's it's got massive rubbing up on top. Too many folds to count. Um, and it's rough. I mean, the cover's still attached. It's not a horrible book, but um, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, my buddy that does uh, uh, pressing and, and comic cleanup worked on this one a lot. And he got it to be in this condition, so... Um, before he worked on it, it was as bad as my old Kazar, or Kazar as I say it. Um, and then the last one is a book that when I was going through and I was rebagging, I had forgotten that I had gotten. Uh, and I was really happy that it was there. 
Um, so this is a newly uh, found one, probably within the last year. Uh, I would like to replace it because um, I can. I'm okay with a lot of flaws, but if there's something, if there's a piece missing, that that's just one I just really can't get by. Uh, it's Fantastic Four, 52, and. Yeah, someone wrote the the stamp on there, eleven twelve. I guess that's when they got the book in. Just terrible placement, obviously. My favorite place is when they put it up near, um, you know, the number or the price. But in this case, it's all black, so wouldn't have really shown up. But it's the cover's attached. Uh, I mean, it, it's missing a pretty good piece there, out of the corner, uh, and it's just general cover wear. I mean, it's it's probably a three zero. So it's it's good enough to hold the place in my collection, but um, I would like to see see it replaced. Probably after uh, the movie dies down and all that hoopla dies down, then uh, I can go out and get a you know a replacement for it that's at an actual right price. So those are uh, those are the ones I would like to see replaced. Um, they're not big books; they're kind of big books. I mean, they're, they're you know more than ten dollars most of them. Uh, so. If uh, if I can, I'll replace those. If not, I'm fine with them. Um, I guess 129 is really the ugliest one. It doesn't have a cover, so uh, it'd be great. But as far as tagging, again, open tag. Anyone, I guess, that subscribes to uh, my channel, uh, let us know uh, or let me know uh, what your uh, your replacement books are going to be or your upgrades. What you'd like to upgrade? Um, I've upgraded a lot this last year, so you know, Avengers nine. Uh, Tales of Suspense 58 I upgraded, Forever People I upgraded, uh, a, lot of, a lot of books like that that uh, I, I had, you know, four, five, 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 so when I was in the middle of hunting for other books, I would come across them, and if they were seven O's or higher, I would grab them, so um, I'm, I'm in pretty good shape there, but those five would be cool uh, to upgrade, so that's my video, and uh, I can't wait to see what everyone else is looking for. It'd be funny if someone else has similar books, but... Anyhow, thanks. Till next time.